Hello and welcome to Julia in the Garden. In this video, I am setting up the spring section of my garden bullet journal. If you want to see the previous setup videos, they will be linked here and in the description box. The first spread in this section is for spring tasks or to-dos, and I am starting with some artwork. I am doing a painting of a market bouquet of daffodils and tulips. I am inspired by some of my favorite daffodils and tulips in the garden, which tend to have apricot pink tones. Then I decided to add some purple tulips as well as it is my favorite color and I thought it was very springy. I added some craft paper to make the wrapping around the bouquet and it adds some texture to the art as well. And I went back over the lines with a pen to give it more dimension. I think it helped quite a bit. The pen I am using is a Micron. I have a set of them and unfortunately I can't remember which size I used. On the other side of the spread, I am creating a scrapbook look with my list of tasks on the top. I am following a typed out document of garden tasks that I adjust each year. Some of the included tasks for spring are sowing seeds, pruning, weeding, fertilizing, as well as things like putting out the rain barrels and hoses. I am using my alphabet stamp set again. I really enjoy it and it gets a lot of use. I will link it in the description box in case you want one too. Moving on, the next spread is for bed preparation. I have divided my gardens into sections. I've got the orchard around the house, the potager, and the berry and rose garden. In each of these sections, I am listing specific steps and areas to prepare for the season. 
It is a very long list, which I don't think I can complete this spring, but it is something to work towards. Again, I went with a layered scrapbook style on this spread. This spread is for notes and ideas on spring interest, and I am back to painting. I have some Johnny Jump Up Violets that are already blooming. You can actually see them in my spring container video. And I decided to use one as a model for my painting. Isn't it sweet? Also, the little dragon in the background was a gift from my dad, and will find a home in the garden soon. It is so cute. My paints are a set of gouache, which I will have linked in the description box below as well. I have slightly more experience with watercolor, and I'm still learning the difference in working between them. On the other side, I am adding a little hellebore. And I am quickly adding some thoughts I have on things to add for next spring, mainly more spring flowering bulbs but I will add more later as I think of things. This next spread is a new one, though I plan to include it in my summer and fall sections as well. It is a place to record what I want to harvest and what I want to make with that harvest in the upcoming season. There isn't as much at this point to harvest in my garden in April and May, which is what I'm considering spring, as there will be in the summer and the fall, um, but it will include things like dandelions and violets and lilacs. Um, I do make uh, jelly and fritters out of dandelions as well as some crafts and such, so I will list that all in here. I also will note flowers to harvest and bouquet ideas. The stickers on this page are from the washi tape shop. We are finally moving on to the monthly spreads. I am only including April and May and spring as I am considering June the beginning of summer.
each month gets a little calendar that has the dates and the moon phases included, and I add a simplified list of tasks for each month. We are into April as I am filming this, so I already made some notes here. Hopefully I can start my summer section soon so it is ready before June. I am also starting to give months two spreads since a lot is happening in the garden. For May, I decided to do a bird theme with this sticker pack I got from Michaels. The last spread in the spring section is for my containers. I kept it simple so that I would have room to jot down notes and sketches of ideas. I am so happy it is spring. I will see you back out in the garden soon. Until then, happy gardening.